Hello Aquarius, I am doing a relationship checkup to see what's going on with you guys' relationship. Um, Aquarius, welcome to We Are Magic. I am Crystal and I'm your host for this video. This is a timeless reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. And if you want to throw your Venus in there, you can. It's your business. Whatever chart, wherever Aquarius is prevalent in your charts. So, Aquarius, what's going on in your relationships, guys? Don't forget to hit the like button. Help me with the algorithms, guys. But anyway, um, let's see what's really good with Aquarius. So I am tuning into your lovey-dovey energy right now. And I want to see... Oh, wow. Okay, here we go. <laughs> this is how y'all do. You have the hanging man as your current <laughs> standing of the relationship. You're like, I'm just trying to see what's really going on here. You're seeing things from a different perspective. Don't know yet. Let's see what's going on for you, Aquarius. Change gon' come on. Oh, yes it is. Oh shit. Aquarius, why is Sam Cook coming through? Mm -hmm. Aquarius, I feel like y'all are fed up a little bit. <laughs> are annoyed, Aquarius. Don't be annoyed. This one wanted to pop out, but it didn't. Aquarius, I might be wrong. I might be wrong. It's a general reading. I'm picking up on a lot of energy right now. Some people are in love. See that one that did? See how it's coming through? Mm-hmm. I hear you, Spirit. I grab it. All right. What needs improved? Oh, Eight of Cups. You guys aren't the only ones that got this. So um, what they're telling you is you've got to leave the past alone. All right, Aquarius, Eight of Cups. Okay. Um, that's, um, you may be dealing with a Scorpio, you may be dealing with a Cancer, and you may be dealing with a Pisces. Um, but what needs to improve, either this is you or it's the person. But... Um, Eight of Cups is abandoning a path, disillusionment, emotionally unfulfilled. So um, if you're not happy in your situation, Aquarius, you know what to do. You can either make take steps on improving the relationship or you move on. Okay, but either way, if you're miserable and something has disappointed you in the past, you can move on from it, okay? My little baby, my little light baby's knocked over. Okay. All right, how can you strengthen your relationship, Aquarius? That is, if you want to. Jeez, please, come on, Aquarius. This isn't for every Aquarius, guys. I'm telling you. Don't start tripping on me in the comments. This is a general read. Lots of energies, lots of queer. You got the six of swords, all right? So, Aquarius, you're air sign. This is your energy, the swords, um, swords and deals with intellect, thoughts, things of that nature. Um, high, high mind, things like that. So the six of swords, how they can tell you, um, harmony after a strain. Um, you're moving on from troubled waters, Aquarius. <laughs> you're, um, you are moving on from being stressed out and upset and you know, that's what you need to do. How can you strengthen your relationship? Move on from the past. Okay. Um, they're not telling you how to get out of the relationship. They're telling you how to strengthen it. If you have been hurt in the past, do your best. And I, I feel like you have been guys do your best not to hang on to the past and make your person suffer for it. Okay. Cause we got that. We got us. The reading's not over yet. Um, what do you need to know right now? Thank you, Spirit. I want my Aquarius to be happy. You know relationships aren't perfect, guys. You know that. And if you have a part, see. <sighs> you may be feeling a certain way, but your person's not feeling that way. <laughs> Um, so what you need to know, you do have the potential to have a very emotionally fulfilling, happy home life with your love. Okay. 
But again, Aquarius, get out your brain, which is hard for you because you're air signs. That's all y'all do is overthink everything. Um, but yes, 10 of cups. I mean, do I got to tell you the card speaks for itself. <laughs> cups is love, emotions, you know, oh, gosh, do y'all have a water person in your life? I feel like y'all have some type of water person. Um, but yeah, 10 of cups is, um, committed and contented love, happy home life, possible marriage. So your person loves you to pieces. Aquarius, they're not willing to give up on you at all. And you know who you are. Don't be mad at me and don't be cussing me out in my messages either. All right, because I have several friends who are Aquarians and I just know how they are. Um, and the outcome of your relationship, guys. It seems like you guys are the ones that's wanting something. Man, I, all kinds of things flipped out. Hold on for a second. Oh. Oh, look who came out the high priestess aren't y'all special but this is what came out the queen of swords look at that <laughs> queen of swords all right so aquarius um normally your guys um your person is the uh, king of swords in minor arcana um i think you're the star and major I don't know, thinking you're the star and major arcana, but the queen of swords is higher mind. Um, she has her stuff together. She's not led by her emotions, just like Aquarians, you know, you just, you know, you try not to be triggered too much. So the outcome of this, you got a queen of swords. And you also got the high priestess, which also deals with, you know, intuition, um, tapping into your higher mind. The high priestess is just that she is, you know, secrets to be unveiled, um, unexplored potential, magic, um, creativity, um, all of those things. So I, we're going to use this as a bonus card since she popped out so flipping hard just now. Um, but yeah, Aquarius, it seems like you guys don't hate me, please. Aquarius. Um, you, you have been through it. You've been hurt. And I know when someone hurts you so bad, it's hard to let that shit go. But on the bright side, what you need to know right now, the 10 of cups came out. It's a lovey dovey, happy family life. And if this is not what you're wanting, again, this is your universe. You do something about it. If you are not happy in your situation, Aquarius, you need to get out of it. But if you are low key happy and you're just, you know, being petty and hanging on to some shit that probably pissed you off, <laughs> maybe they said something out of the way. Maybe they did something that wasn't completely detrimental, but it was enough to make you upset. And you're like, you know what? I don't need this shit. I am moving on. Come on, Aquarius. Come on, tap into your higher mind, that Aquarian energy, not the petty energy, but the Aquarian, like, I'm not going to be led by my emotions. I know this person absolutely <laughs> worships the ground I walk on and is super happy with me. You just have to see things from a different perspective like you're doing right now. Okay. All right, Aquarius, this is your relationship check. <laughs> Sorry. I love you guys. And I love you Aquarians so much. And guys, stay safe. Take care. And uh, I will talk to you later. Bye.